Hello class. In this series of tutorial, I'll show you the whole workflow of importing your Maya animation into Unity 3D, and we'll create the character control with those animations. So for this character, as you can see, by default, it's playing the idle animation. And if I hit W key, it'll start to walk forward. And I also have walk right animation, walk left, and walk backward. And by add shift key, I have the wrong animation, the character will move faster, and she can also run backward, run right, run left, right, and jump. And by hit one key, it'll kick. By hit two, it'll punch. Hit three, it'll have a quarter punch. And if I hit five, it'll die and fall in forward. And hit 6 key, it will alive. And hit 4 key, it will die and fall backward. And I can also switch different camera view. For example, by default, it's a third person view. And if I hit 8, it will switch it to the first person view. See, I can kick and punch and quad punch and jump. So this is the first person view. And I can also hit 9 key to switch it to the, um, the close-up shot on the face. So it looks like the camera is attached to the character head, like a GoPro. Right? And I can run, and I can punch, and do a quad punch. And I can also switch it to the top view by hit 9 key. So this is the top view. With this view, you can see the surrounding of the character, the back side, left side, right side. Okay, these are the animation states I created for controlling the animations. The connections looks very complex, but we'll go step by step, analyzing each connection. At the end of this tutorial series, you'll understand the whole story, and you'll feel this is very easy to do. All right, let's get started. So here's my character project in Maya, and here are the keyframes for each animation cycle. After I bake the animation, as you can see, the keyframe is running every frame on each joint. Here's the hierarchy of the project. So I created a folder that includes both the meshes and the skeleton. And I also made this document as reference about the keyframes. Um, what are the frame rates of uh, each cycle? And here's uh, how animation looks like. You start with the T pose and the four different walk cycles, and then run cycles, and jump, and attack, the quad punch and a single punch, and then the idle. The idle is the longest because for most of the time your character will stay in the idle pose. And then at the end, we have two death pose. Okay, so once you have those, and then you can you know, just deselect your object and make sure your scene is clean. There's no lights or no other unrelative objects. You only have your character mesh and the skeleton. And then go to export all. And you can put your name here. And then for the settings, make sure under the animation tab, you check on the animation. And scroll down for FBX file format. I use a 2011 because it's a very stable uh, FBX format. Sometimes the native is the format it has some bugs, and I just choose to use the old one. All right. If you don't see the FBX export setting, you can just go to 12 menu windows, setting preferences, plugin manager, and type FBX here, and make sure you check on the plugin for FBX, and refresh, and it will show up. Then let's switch back to Unity 3D and we'll create a new project. And click on create. Here let's go to the hierarchy and click on the assets folder. And we'll create a few folders. First folder, we'll name it as models. And second one, let's name it as textures. Third one, um, scripts. All right, so here they are. And then go to the folder and find the folders you just created here. So in the models folder, um, just bring the FBX file you just created. And in the texture folder, 
uh, go to the textures and copy all the textures you used for your character and bring it in here in Unity 3D project and switch back to Unity it will update your textures and models and you will see your normal map has some issue and just click on fix now it will fix it all right and then go to game object and we'll create a plan and let's make it bigger so our character has some room to play and then uh, here in the models folder you will see your character model uh, you can drop it in here it is so the character's body has the texture but the dress the texture is missing so I'll go to the texture folder and create new material and name it address material and for this material I'll use the diffuse map here and its normal map get it here and then bring the material onto the dress model all right so now let's start to build the character control so go to the game object and create empty for this empty object we'll use it as a folder to um, hold all the objects the character model and the script we're going to use so we'll rename it as monster a um, I can say folder okay so one thing is important that as you can see when I select the empty object I just created the z-axis is facing to this direction and it's the front side of the character so that is good um, because in Unity 3D, uh, it reads Z axis as a front axis. So if your character is facing to the side, for example, in this way, um, so if you build the character control, when your character running forward, your character will face into the side and it will look really weird. So if your character is facing to a different axis in Maya, and when you bring it into Unity 3D, you can just rotate your character. Okay. So make sure your character is facing to Z and then select your character model and bring it into the character folder I just created. All right, select the character folder and go to add a component and add a ring body. And for the ring body, uh, let's temporarily check off the use gravity and go to the constraints. Let's check on freeze rotation for X, Y, Z axis. And then let's bring the main camera into the camera folder and we'll use it as the third person camera. And we can bring it closer to the character and bring it up and let it face down a little bit. And you can go to the game tab to preview how your camera view looks like. So this is a view from the camera. And then go to add component and scroll down to the bottom you'll see new script so create a new script and here we'll say monster a control script okay and click on create and add here is it and double click you'll open it in the visual studio this is how the new script looks by default and uh, i would like you to type the script as showing so here's the script All right, once you're done, hit Command S to save your script. Now let's switch back to Unity 3D and test run the game. So if I hit W key, as you can see, the character is a move, but uh, it's super fast. So we can strike our character folder, go to the script move speed. So here's a two and we can change it to 0.1 and then test the play again. And you can see that my character moves in a much slower speed. It is a really nice speed. And if I hit W key with the Shift key, my character will move faster because it's supposed to run will add the Shift key. So basically in the script, we have a input H, which is horizontal. Um, so it will allow the character move left or right. Okay, and input V, which is the vertical, it will let the character move forward and backward. So we have to float here. And we'll create that in Unit 3D later on. And we'll also create a pole object as wrong. Uh, so right now we just add that in the script and later on we'll use that. 
So here's how the run works. When you input and press the key down, which is the shift key on your left side of the keyboard, your character will move in a speed, which is three times than the normal speed. Otherwise, when your character walk, it will walk in the normal speed. Next, we'll apply the walk animation when the character moves.